killeth thee. Oh, the two only trust in me. You are the seed. By faith receive the blessing of Abraham. The blessing of Abraham. Welcome to the good life. Taking the Path to Greatness with your radio pastor, Pastor Tina LaFleur of Change Ministries International, P.O. Box 2311, Downey, California, 90242. Our telephone number is 562-398-3366. That's 562-398-3366. Now get ready to position yourself in the good life. Here is Pastor Tina LaFleur. Well, good morning. Okay, I want to give all praise and glory to God in the highest. I want to also acknowledge our radio engineer tonight, this morning, Mr. Thomas Blackwell. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity for calling me into the ministry, Father. I don't take it lightly, but I call it a privilege, and I thank you, Father. And right now, I thank you for touching the hearts and the minds of every listener. Father, touch them right now to receive every word, everything that you have to tell them, Father. May I decrease and you increase in me. May they hear only you and not me, Father. Right now, Father, in Jesus' name, fill me afresh to overflowing that I may speak your words, Father, and that they may hear you. And right now, I rebuke the evil one right now in Jesus' name. Loose the people of God. Loose the people right now listening. You loose your hold right now in Jesus' name. Now, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, let's get going. Our topic tonight is hope in God. Yes, hope in God. He will never allow you to be put ashamed for the hope you have put in him. You can find that in Romans <clears throat> chapter 5, verse 5. Hope in God to turn every situation around. For with every trial, temptation, and test, God is faithful and will not put you, put on you more than what you are able to bear. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. And it says, there hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Amen. Hallelujah. So with the temptation to give up. To throw in the towel, to let go, God has made a way for your escape. Yes, you. Instead of looking at the temptation, the trouble, the situation, begin to look for the way that God has already, that has already been made for your escape. For in Psalms 139, verse 16, it says that God knew all your days before one even took place. So we know God has already made a way for you and I. This word means that along with whatever you are going through, God has just as real as that situation you're in. God has made a way of escape. For God is able to make rivers in the desert and a way in the wilderness. Now let's look at Isaiah chapter 43, verse 15 through 21. Okay, let's turn to that. Right quick, that's Isaiah chapter 43, verse 15 through 21. It says, I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, make a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters which bringeth forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are ex extinct. 
they are quenched as tow. So he was talking about when they came out of Egypt, how God opened the Red Sea for his people. And he told them they will not see their enemies anymore. And so when he closed the Red Sea, they closed in on their enemies and they did not see them anymore. God is doing you doing that for you this morning. So remember at verse 18, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of all old. Behold, God is saying, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the, and the isles. Because I have, I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Amen. Hallelujah. So the in, the the incidents, the trouble that you're in, God has set you up <laughs> to give him praise. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. So hope in God. Now is not the time to give up. Take your eye off of the temptation to give up and set your eyes to the hills from which comes your help. Let's turn to, to Psalm uh, 121. Psalms 121. And it says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help or your help cometh from the Lord, which made heavens and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. So go to sleep, all right? Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. That is your protector. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee, thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. So God, hallelujah has already made a way, hope in God, for he He is the same yesterday and today and forever. You can see that in Hebrews 13, chapter, uh, uh, verse 8, and he, for he cannot lie. And you can see that in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 18. Okay, his written word is a sure word of prophecy. Let's look at that in Second Peter, verse chapter 1. Second Peter chapter one, verse 19 through 21. Okay, let's look at that right quick. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Do you feel like you're in a dark place? Yeah, this word tonight is a light in that dark place. It says, until the day dawn and the day star rise in your heart, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy, holy man of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. So this word to you this morning is a sure word of prophecy. Or a prophetic word. God has with that temptation, trial, or test, has already made a way to escape. God has made a way in the wilderness and a river in the desert of your life. Hope in God and look up to God. For he has not only made a way of escape, but has also given you strength to bear it. Let's find that and turn to Isaiah chapter 40. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40. Let's turn to that right quick. Verses 29 through 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 29 through 31. And it says, he, that is God, giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait, hallelujah, wait upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hope in God. He will strengthen you. 
for he has strengthened you with the wings as an eagle, whose wings are so powerful, they, you, rise above the storm in your life. The temptation with the word of God, you will now begin to look at the way to escape by hoping in God. There is nothing impossible with God. It says in Luke chapter 1, verse 37, God has made a way for you in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for having already made a way and provision for everyone this morning in need, according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus, that you will and you are well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. Father, I thank you that you are always able to make all grace, all grace abound toward every listener this morning that they always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work in Jesus name. Amen. Now receive what you need from God right now by simply saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for providing for me in Jesus name. Amen. Now, if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, pray with me and say this with all your heart, with all your heart and mean it from your heart. And repeat after me, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me and breaking every curse from my life. That the blessing of Abraham might come in my life. Yes. Thank you. I receive you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. If you pray that prayer, meant it with your heart, the angels in heaven are rejoicing over you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Now, okay, let me hurry up. I have... A few more minutes. I I want to make a couple of announcements. I will be a guest speaker this Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday, October 23rd. I'd like to meet you there uh, this Sunday, October 23rd at 1.30 uh, in the afternoon at Saints of Value with Blessed Revelations Ministries. That's uh, Pastor Raymond Long. And the address there is 12110 East Firestone, okay, Boulevard. I'll say that again. 12110 East Firestone, that's spelled F as in Frank, I-R-E-S-T-O-N, Boulevard in Norwalk, N-O-R-W-A-L-K, California, Norwalk, California, 90650. Okay, and I'll be there this Sunday at 1.30. And also come to the to to our Bible study. Every uh Tuesday we're having the Bible study from seven to eight thirty, Change Ministries International with me, your pa- the pastor, Tina, at one two one one East Front Street. That's F R O N T Street in Norwalk, nine zero six five zero. So come and and hear the word and and find your purpose. Yes, that's my focus. That's what God has given me. So call if you want prayer at 310-674-5896 for prayer. All right, 310-674-5896. Bye-bye. Yahoo.com. That's T-E-N-A-L-E-F-L-O-R-E at Yahoo.com. Thanks for listening to Welcome to the Good Life. Taking the Path to Greatness with your radio pastor, Pastor Tina LaFleur. Blessing of Abraham. Blessing of Abraham. Wherever you are.